Good evening guys, it's Joff from Mo Hotel Adventures and I've seen a couple of questions just come up recently on a couple of forums about parking in South Devon. Now we live in Devon and uh, we're in South Devon so basically I was kind of like we know where these places are and uh, we need to get some more information and get some updates on these little uh, park ups that are totally legal with South Ham's District Council, which is, how good is that? Somewhere to actually park up and you pay and you know you're safe. You're not gonna get a parking charge. There are so many places in Devon now, believe me, they're dishing out if you're not in the box, uh, overnight parking, fixed penalties, left, right and center. So I'm gonna show you guys, there are five designated places where you can park your motorhome overnight. So let's take a look. Yeah, you can actually park overnight with your self, as long as you're totally self-contained, you've got to have an onboard toilet and uh, it is permitted for you to park uh, in a period from six in the evening, 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. at the following car parks for a maximum of two consecutive nights with no return within 48 hours. So there are five places and the cost of these parkings are 10 pound per night. So. If you guys are like me, you like to, if you pay your money and then you know you're safe, you haven't got to worry about getting that ticket that's going to cost you a hundred bloody quid. Um, so let's take a look. So the first one, the designated parking spot is Long Marsh Car Park in Totnes. So we'll tag in the map of where that's to and we'll tag in a couple of pictures. We get a lot of people sort of like, we want to come to Devon and we need to visit somebody um, in the area. Where can we sort of park? Can we, you know, somewhere to park? Um, or we need to move on to a campsite the next day. So these are perfect for kind of if you just want to come down and get a night before you go on to your campsite, maybe something like that. So um, that's the Long Marsh Totnes. The next one is... Leonard's Road Ivy Bridge, which is just off the A38. So we'll get some uh, pictures of that one on the map, roughly where it's to. So if you're traveling down to Cornwall via Plymouth over the Tamar Bridge and you want, you're looking for a stopover. Um, just gonna mention, obviously we do um, rate the old uh, Brit Stop book, which we, um, we love, we use it, but sometimes obviously, again, you like to, um, you need to support the pub. And by the time we go in and have four drinks and something to eat, we're normally into about 35 quid. So, uh, so you know with these places, you're actually only gonna spend 10 pounds for that overnight period. And you might have to just put in a little bit if you're running up to that six o'clock in the evening, um, just to tie you over to the, like I say, to that 6 p.m. Uh, window where you paid your £10 for for your overnight in. Um, so the next one we're going to look at is Poundwell Meadow Overflow Car Park at Modbury, which again, not that far uh, if you're travelling from maybe the South Hams, Kingsbridge Way, back across towards Plymouth, um, and you want somewhere to overnight down that neck of the woods, again, we'll tag in the picture of the location and another one that i like the look of uh so we spend a lot of time down around the dartmouth area so you can actually park at the park and ride at dartmouth so again we'll um tag in a picture of the location and uh obviously if, if you're at the park and ride um don't know what time the buses run. Don't get too complicated, Joff. Uh, we don't want to get involved in that one. But these are basically, if you're in the area and looking for somewhere to overnight with any, without any hassle and you want to pay your tenner, um, get in there. And the next one, I know exactly where it is, is the cattle market down at Kingsbridge. So another nice little spot down on the, the estuary there at Kingsbridge. And uh, there we go, we're tagging in a couple more pictures of the location. And um, that's that one, that's number five. 
Yeah, so one of the uh, safety things they're trying to uh, get people to do as well is be leave enough gap. They're looking to leave six meters in between motorhomes if you're parked overnight, literally just for that safety aspect. Um, so you know the score, you don't want to be uh, over the top close. Uh, if you catch fire or the person next to you catches fire, you need that gap, uh, which is, um, they recommend six meters. And um, they're obviously recommending that, um, obviously, if uh, something is uh, um, catching fire, you're going to get the, your vehicle is evacuated and you're going to get on the uh, fire service straight away. So, which is pretty common sense. Um, that's pretty easy. Uh, they want you to abide by this code of conduct, which is obviously they don't want um, dogs running around and uh, dog mess lay laying around. Anybody that wants to take their dog, keep your dog under control. Uh, same with just general rubbish. Um, take your rubbish with you if there's not anywhere to put the rubbish and um, make sure you uh, recycle your plastic and all the rest of it, which is, uh, again, um, just be respectful for the most motor homes, loud music, and um, yeah, just try not to overcrowd the site. Um, but this is like the sort of thing that we need to, um, if we can get this sort of thing going in this country, this is just what we need. You know, everywhere in Europe is doing this sort of thing, and it's great for the local economy. We all know that. Um, and, and support your local economy. You know, at the end of the day, if there's a, a local bit, hey, then motor owners came here and uh, bought their local paper and had a, had a, um, a couple of uh, um, bits and pieces out of my little convenience store, and that helps our cause. You know, them guys uh, um, give them a little bit of trade and uh, perfect. Um, obviously, uh, be respectful for the local residents and because uh, we don't want to upset them. We want to give people a really good um appearance of people driving motorhomes hopefully we do <laughs> just about but uh, now obviously if there's people around we've got to respect them uh, music stuff like that and uh yeah just keep uh, nice and stern and we just don't want any disturbance so as always in a a lot of like the french motorhome airs they do not want camping behavior so they don't want they're not looking for people to wind out their awning put all their um, patio furniture put all their uh, plastic chairs out and um recliners and all the rest of it so we want to respect that and uh, obviously again no waste water being discharged no um fires being lit barbecues me with my cadac no chance you know what i mean you're going to be uh, Right, time for the uh, the chili inside for that one. Um, no generators. They don't want people with um, generators creating no. And basically, it's no caravans, no trailers. What they're suggest what they're suggesting is the other thing is if you are taking up two bays, you must pay for two parking tickets in that situation. So obviously, you will be uh, um, taken up. Uh, a bay that somebody else could be using for a tenner, so it would be 20. So that's obviously the the uh, the penalty you're going to pay for if you're taking up two. But be very careful. We we try and you know keep within the the markings on the uh, that are marked out. Keep within the bay. Uh, we, as you guys know, we go down to Exmouth on the front. Um, probably the well the maximum you're going to get we get down exmouth and we get tight to the wall at the back and our nose just fits in the bay so this is seven meters and uh, they don't want your nose of your motorhome parking out over the bay uh just in case someone comes along with a wheelchair they've you've got to be respectful for that and they will if you're over that um white line they're going to slap a ticket on you so again be very careful but it's great to think that you can come down in the South Ham's area and uh, actually pay your £10 and park somewhere um, and know that peace of mind that you are legally parked. Because believe it or not, it, it is so super hot down here. And just when you're not, ex you know, um, I'm going to leave it there because otherwise I'm going to babble too much. But so trying to keep this video quite simple, just basically showing you them spots. Um, hope you found it informative. And basically, hey guys, if you are YouTubers and you live in a particular area and you know a, a little bit about this information where um, we can park in your area, let us know. Um, and we, we'd love to hear about it. You know, it's, uh, there's, it's a, a great thing if you can go somewhere else and uh, you get that good information. But um, 
thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next video uh, which is probably not too far away you know what we're like and uh, if you found this uh, video informative give us a subscribe hit the like button give us a um, comment and uh, we'll be absolutely delighted from to hear from you and um, we'll catch you soon bye